Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for another turning tip or, or something. Um, you know, wood turners we generally like to solve problems and, and sometimes you can use your lathe to solve a problem. You're not making a piece of art, you're making a fixture for, for your shop. In this case, my challenge is I had this old chair, chair base, and I had this old lamp, uh, lamp rod uh, fan, fan extension and my challenge was to figure out how to to hold this in, in here because I'm going to put a laptop stand on here. Uh, basically I'm gearing up to do live live videos and I need a laptop uh, right in front of my lathe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a, a piece that will sit on here and have a hole that will fit this. Let's see how that works. Sometimes you don't get it right the first time. Uh, my buddy Steve Carmichael at Gwinnett Woodwork has had some plans on his channel on making a uh, laptop stand to mount on a wall. I made mine a little bit bigger, but the problem is wood is just it just droops too much, it's too wobbly, uh, and and it was it was tilted too much. So I had to come up with this other solution. So the outside dimension of that uh, that shaft on that wheelchair base is about two inches so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of wood any kind of wood that's uh, free of knots and pretty clear I'm using a piece of poplar we turn it round okay I've got it round now the part that's going to fit inside so what I'm talking about is this needs to be close to two inches but mostly it just needs to have a uh, a shoulder to sit against here the inside I've measured and it's just about a little bit less than one and a quarter so we're going to that's going to be the outside so let's go ahead and mark that so I'm going to go ahead and put a shoulder uh, not sure how deep it needs to go but I think I'm going to use uh, most of the depth here okay so I'm going to take it down to this dimension except for this shoulder so first thing I'm going to do is just Take this down. Getting close. Almost there. I'm going to go ahead and take this down just a little bit and put it in a chuck. And when I finish, I'll put it back into center to get that final bit down. But I need to put it in a in a chuck in order that I can uh, drill it. Okay, now the challenge is I need to drill a hole down here, oh, probably to close to that far, so let's go ahead and, and do that. So here's this piece of pipe. We're going to measure that, and it's between 3 quarters and uh, 7 eighths. So let's get a Jacob's chuck. So here's my drill chuck. It needs to go down that deep, so I need to have an extender, which fortunately I happen to have, and I'm not going to measure how deep. I just looked for a fitting on here that gives me where it needs to go so I'll let me go ahead and put it in the Jacobs chuck okay we're going to drill at a pretty slow speed this poplar is pretty soft wood but that's a pretty good size bit so I'm going to drill it at a uh, hole maybe about 600 so I've got this secured keeping my hands on the Jacobs chuck when you're retracting it because you sure don't want that thing to get stuck and then come whipping out of there and, and dis, dislodge from here. That's a real problem. Right, let me get a toothbrush to kind of help clear this. And I always keep a piece of wax. This gets heated up and sometimes this kind of helps a little bit. And back into the breach. All right, now that I got it drilled out, I'm gonna go ahead and move the Jacobs chuck and put this back between centers. I've got a hole here, so I'll use a 60 degree cone as a live center and that'll work just great. So let's take that out of chuck because all this needs to be taken down to this size right here. I'm going to use a 60 degree cone and I've already got my center marked there. Bring this up here. Switch to a smaller tool rest. Okay, now 
I'm going to get my calipers again. Okay. Right about there. So let's take that down. Speed back up a little bit. A little snug there, loose everywhere else. Let's see. Let's give it a trial fit. And that's a pretty good fit. Uh, it, it's snug, it, it twists a little bit, but I don't care. It, it fits in there and it doesn't really rock. Now, let's see what the pipe looks like inside. And there we are. I'll put a little, a couple of wraps of uh, tape around it and it'll be good. And then with the end of this, I can mount it on a, uh, a board that I've got to, to put the laptop on. Okay, here's the uh, completed uh, stand. I might have to put a little shim or adjust it to get it uh, parallel. Here's a side view, uh, including the uh, swivel uh, to tilt it up a little bit. And uh, okay, here's where I'm going with all of this. You know, I'm uh, as technology changes, wood turners and demonstrators got to change with it. Uh, we're going from technology of using a camcorder and putting it on a uh, little memory uh, memory chip, sticking it in the computer and doing the editing to going to a software solution where we're, we're using, instead of camcorders, we're using webcams such as this one and this one and the one in the uh, in the laptop and going to a software solution where you can do picture in picture and, and the feeds are going actually going into software uh, being recorded on your computer and at the same time they're going into an output that you can send out to, over Zoom or Skype in order to have a virtual live demonstration so that's where I'm going with this so a couple of other little tweaks that I've had to do to this system I had to do a little see if I can show that uh, when I first started playing with this thing I had wires everywhere and dangling so I, I <laughs> a couple of contraptions I had to rig up today number one I made this little little holder for my uh, laptop battery with this little slot. It, I just drop it in there and drop this thing down. Uh, I've, I had to make this microphone holder that I could just slide that uh, Blue Yeti in. That, that sucker is heavy, uh, so I had to get that rigged up. Then moving around to the uh, laptop stand, I made this, this earlier. Uh, it tilts forward, and of course you can raise and lower the, the screen to get you know to get get the best image uh, I've got picture in picture let me let me do that picture in picture here uh, with put the talking head there down the picture in picture I've added a little uh, nail a little screw right here so this can't go too far forward and and tip off the lap, laptop I made me need to look at putting a, a velcro strap across this thing to make it even more secure maybe over the back because I've got so many cords and maneuvering around it's uh, a bit of a, a bit of a challenge in my in my shop I've got to figure out how to deal with some of these cords so there's a lot of moving parts to this uh, this new approach to using webcams and but I'm gearing up for some virtual demos I've got a couple of clubs lined up where I can do demos right here in my shop and send it out over the internet live to, for them to broadcast on their their uh, their monitor or projector at their club site uh, with uh, broadband uh, internet access where they can actually I can actually see individuals asking questions and hearing them as at the same time they can see and hear me so it's a new world and it's it's evolving I'm looking forward to it so I'm excited about uh, embracing these new technological changes and see where it'll take me so uh, y'all stay safe stay sharp y'all come back here